Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today we're working with the Sound Blaster Live and Windows 98 and I'm showing you how you can use the Audigy 2 ZS drivers and install them with your Sound Blaster Live. Big thank you to Joseph Joestar. He discovered this method and posted a guide on the Vogons forum website. I modified it a little bit. You just download a single zip file and it's really straightforward to install. We are doing this live. You can see here in device manager, the audio drivers are not installed yet. And here are the drivers. It's a simple zip file. You just unpack it. At the moment, it's hosted on the philscomputerlab.com website, but feel free to upload it to other places. The more people that can use this, the better. So there are five folders and I named them so you know what to do. So you go into the creative system information utility folder and run setup exe. Then we go back, go into the second folder and we want to install the uh, XVD driver. So make sure you don't change anything here and then press OK. This process will take quite some time. Time to make a cup of coffee or tea and walk away. We're just going to fast forward the video. The drivers have installed, now we just have to reboot the machine. So at this point the sound is working, so we're just going to have a look at the driver version. Here we go, this is the driver version. Before we continue with the other drivers, we're just going to do a few tweaks. Go to Multimedia and Advanced under Performance. Make sure the sample rate conversion quality is set to best. The other tweak has to do with the mixer. Make sure you disable any inputs that you don't need. They are analog, most of them are analog and they can cause some noise. Next up is the Audio HQ. Followed by the Sound Font Bank Manager, which lets, uh, which lets you load sound fonts. And finally, if you want to use MS-DOS, we also need the DOS drivers. And that's it. Let's have a final look in Device Manager. Here we have all our devices. And also let's have a quick look at all the software that we just installed. So here we have got the audio headquarter. Uh, we've got device controls here. We have the EAX control panel, also quite useful. Then we also have the uh, system information. Here you can do some diagnostics. And finally, we have the sound font bank manager. I also added the CT shared folder because without that, the sound font bank manager will not install properly. Next up, we have the creative sound font bank manager. This is where you can load sound fonts and yeah, even use them in DOS for general MIDI. And now we're going to check out two games, one for Windows and one for DOS. Let's try Expendable. It's a period correct game for Windows 98, supports EAX and also has built-in benchmarking. And for DOS, we have Doom 2. <laughs> and 
And there you have it, it's all working. I'm really eager for you guys to give this a go, especially this is supposedly going to work with more uh, Sound Blaster Live cards. They are notorious for making it difficult finding the correct drivers or the correct driver CD for whatever card you have. Supposedly, this solution also works with some OEM cards. So really eager for you guys to test this out. Leave some feedback down below in the comments. And that's really it. I'll put all the links down below in the description. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. If you want to see some other tutorials, I actually haven't done them in a long time and I really enjoy doing them to be honest. Um, yeah, let me know what do you want to see. And yeah, I shall see you soon with another one.